Have you ever wondered how gravity affects different objects on different moons and planets? Yeah. No, me neither. But we're going to find out in today's edition of... Science Geek! But what is the difference between mass and weight, and how do these two quantities vary on different planets? I sent some of my science geeks into space to find out. Rocketastic! First stop, the moon. If only it was that simple. <laughs> Before we can get to the moon, we have to escape from the Earth's gravity first. As the space rocket takes off, gravity is trying to pull it back towards the Earth's surface. The gravitational field of the Earth becomes weaker as you get further away from it. The rocket must be going at a speed of 11.2 kilometers per second in order to escape from the Earth's gravitational field. This is what we mean by escape velocity. The gravitational field strength on the surface of the Moon is about six times weaker than it is on Earth. You'd still be able to fall over though, and you wouldn't float around randomly. That just doesn't happen. The moon has gravity. You'd still be pulled to the floor. Wow, I feel really nice. Yeah. Look at the fun those little science geeks are having. That's because they weigh less. They feel about six times lighter. You would literally weigh six times less than you do on the Earth. That feels really light. You'd feel stronger. You'd be able to jump really high. Your mass in kilograms, however, would stay exactly the same. Your mass does not change wherever you are in the universe. <laughs> but enough of this fun and my jinx for those little science geeks. Next I send them to a world, an alien world full of funny enough aliens, and also to their certain doom. Because this planet has three times the mass of the Earth and yet the same radius. Let's see how it affects our lovely little science geeks. Gravity strong over here, over. Yes, experiencing three times normal weight. Your weight would be three times larger. You would literally feel three times heavier. You probably couldn't lift your arms. You'd find it difficult to walk. The mass of this kilogram hasn't changed, but the weight is huge. Oh. Your mass of planets on the dune would stay exactly the same. Remember, mass does not change wherever you go in the universe. Oh, look, some aliens. Oh. They don't look very nice, do they? Chasing the science geeks. But I say chase, they, they, they can't really move, can they? Because the gravity is too strong, the three times heavier. No one's fallen over. Oh, oh dear. Oh, oh. I did well, I did say they were doomed. Oh, oh dear. Uh, oh, well, I'll, uh, I'll grow another one. At least the rest have made it back to the ship. Oh well, never mind. I know what you're all worried about now. How do we calculate the weight of an object on a different planet or moon? Well, it's easy. Weight equals mass times gravitational field strength. Or as I prefer to say it, W equals M times G. Weight is measured in newtons, the mass in kilograms, and G is the gravitational field strength is measured in newtons per kilogram. Example one! <laughs> what about done. if you want to change the formula around? Here's a magic triangle to help us. <laughs> Meanwhile, back in space. Safe at last. Oh, it's a shame about Geek One. Whatever. Yeah! Hmm, I wonder what that button's for. No! Your 
weight changes depending on the planet you are stood on. Weight is a force caused by gravity. It's measured in newtons. Your mass is measured in kilograms. Your mass stays the same wherever you are in the universe. Whether it's a black hole, planet, a tiny asteroid, it stays the same. Job done! If my science geeks get killed, then I simply grow some more. So, there we have it. Another scientific puzzle solved by... Science Geeks!